This is the problem of the monkey and the hunter. There are lots of variations on this problem, but the physics in all of them is identical. Suppose we have a monkey up in a tree and a hunter down on the ground. The hunter has a modified gun that will only shoot bananas, and he's trying to shoot bananas to the monkey. The first try for the hunter is to aim directly at the monkey. The monkey, being clever, decides at the moment that the gun is fired, he's going to let go of the tree and fall. The question is, if the monkey lets go of the tree and falls, at the same instant that the hunter fires the banana, will the monkey get the banana? Choice A. The banana will go over the monkey's head. Choice B. Or the banana will go underneath the monkey. Choice C. Let's see if we can analyze this problem using the physics of projectile motion to predict what will happen. So here we have a grid with our hunter and a banana and our monkey up in the tree. The arrow represents the path that the hunter is going to aim along so that the banana is headed towards the monkey. Now, the first thing we know about this problem is if there were no gravity, the banana would not fall. It would travel directly along this line and go straight to the monkey. So the question is, does gravity somehow affect the monkey differently than it affects the banana? Or do they both fall the same way, meaning that the banana and the monkey should eventually arrive at the same point because both are falling under the influence of gravity? Well, let's see if we can trace out the path of each of them and figure out what is going to happen. So let's look at this about one second later. Here is the new position of the banana, and here is the new position of the monkey. Notice that the banana has fallen about one square below the line where it would have been if there was no gravity. And notice that the monkey has also fallen about one square below where it would have been if there was no gravity. So it looks like the monkey and the banana are both falling the same way. Now if you stop and think about this for a minute, you know from free fall that if gravity is the only force acting, the mass of the object has no effect on the way it falls, and all objects will fall with the same constant acceleration, meaning they gain speed at the same rate and travel the same distance in the same amount of time. Right? So let's watch as our banana and our monkey continue to travel forward. All right, here's one more second later. Here's the new position of the banana and the new position of the monkey. Let's take a look at how far the banana has fallen. In two seconds, it's fallen about four squares. And likewise for the monkey, measuring from the top of his head to the top of his head in the new position, the monkey has also fallen about four squares. Things look pretty good so far. Here's one second later. The monkey and the banana continue to fall. We can count squares now. The banana has fallen one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine squares. The monkey has also fallen nine squares from the top of his head to the top of his head. So as we know from free fall, the monkey and the banana fall at the same rate of acceleration. And since they both started at rest, they'll be traveling the same vertical speed and they will have covered the same vertical distance. All right, one more should do it. Here's our monkey and our banana one second later. The banana has fallen. Again, we can count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 15, 16 squares. And the monkey has also fallen 16 squares. Because the monkey and the banana fall the same way, if the hunter aims the banana at the monkey and the monkey releases himself from the tree at the instant that the banana is fired, the monkey is guaranteed to catch the banana on the way down. Notice also that this banana shows constant horizontal motion. 
it travels six little blocks during each second sideways, as it should if this is a true projectile. All right, so the key to the monkey and the hunter is everything falls the same way in free fall. If the banana and the monkey both start out with the same vertical speed, they're going to fall the same way, and the monkey is going to catch the banana. There you go. That's the monkey and the hunter. If the monkey stayed in the tree, the banana would continue to follow this curved path and land well below him. In order to hit the monkey if he stayed in the tree, the hunter would have to aim well above the monkey so that the banana could go up and fall back down and land where the monkey is. A much tougher shot. So it's a good thing for our hunter down here that this is a clever monkey and he knows to let go of the tree at the moment that the hunter fires his banana gun. Enjoy.